How you doing? Andy Rizika with you again with another Reel to Reel where we highlight local St. Louis films because the St. Louis film industry is a lot bigger than you think. So I've got some people on, some actors from a local short film called Schmetterling. I've got Ashley Pryor and Sean Scott. So thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having us. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. So, you know, I'll let you guys introduce the film. Tell me, Ashley, what the plot, what, what, what is it about? It is about a drug addict that wakes up from a bender and goes out to um, smoke a cigarette and witnesses a murder. So the killer sees her and then continues to chase her um, to try and kill her. And she seeks help from different um, friends and individuals. And that's you know pretty much where we're going with and that. And you're that character. You're Schmetterling. I am Schmetterling. You are Schmetterling. And you had to be like scared the entire film. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. And it was definitely a challenge. It was scary. It was scary. <laughs> I mean, he, he's kind of scary. So like, you know, when he's running at you, it, it, it's pretty terrifying. I imagine. I'm terrified right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you're just sitting there. You should be. I'm a professional cage fighter. <laughs> I can do this stuff. So you, Sean, played the villain. And yeah. what was it? You didn't have any dialogue, but you had to really move with your body. Did you try to? I mean, did you try to create a character just with? Movement? Oh, very much so. It was. <laughs> it's really interesting because we get to have these pieces where, you know, it, I'm I'm in three quarters, or I, I'm kind of occluded in some capacity, but I have to try and tell the story or convey an emotion with, you know, my hands or or, or just like a look where we're connecting here. So it's, it's very interesting to try and physically convey that. Did you try and look at horror films and create your movement based on uh, other like, horror villains? Like, for instance, let me just say, like, the first opening moment that I see you walk, I got the impression of Mike Myers. Was that something intentional or no? Yeah, I, I think I tried to draw from, you know, what would scare me? Yeah. And, and I, I, a lot of it is playing off of Ashley. You know, where, how do I scare her? We got to film in a, an old crematorium in a geriatric facility, and we're there at 3 a.m., so, you know, a, there was a little bit of, you know, at one point, I, you know, I found the intercom system, and so we're doing, like, <sighs> heavy breaths <laughs> over the intercom, and everybody's like, did you hear that? It's definitely haunted, and, we're, you know, we were competing on popping out and scaring each other while we were going. <laughs> so the entire set was suspenseful the whole time, and, and my, my job is to either be hot on the chase trying to, you know, actively murder her or, you know, stalk and find her, chase and, and try and figure out where she went so I can finish the job and, and tie up all the loose ends here. <laughs> and you, I mean, having been chased down there, you had to wear a helmet, right, to shoot a point of view shot? Yes, it was incredibly challenging. Um, definitely the worst part of the entire thing. Um, it was... Allegedly eight pounds, but we had the camera mounted to the helmet and it had to have weights on the back so that it would stay balanced. And then I had to run for my life while trying to keep the camera still and it was not fun. Run for your life like this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like a speed walk thing. Uh, too much movement, like run faster, but still. I introduced the jazz run to everyone, which I learned in high school uh, from, <laughs> from Color Guard and having to like cross a football field in eight counts. Can't see it on camera, but she's doing this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> was this both of your, I mean, was this your first film, real uh, a main character for a portion of the film? Yes. Yes, it was. How did that feel? It was amazing and challenging. Uh, I... While I was filming, I, I wasn't sure, like, I don't know, if I was doing things correctly. I wanted to know that I was, like, looking scared, and it was fun and interesting. Well, have you ever been a villain before? Is this maybe your first time being a villain? Um, I think I've played a heel before, but it's interesting because that's not who I am in real life. Um, so it's kind of fun to lean into that and get to portray someone that, that I don't naturally exhibit characteristics of. And then candidly, Kevin was great to work with the entire time as far as giving us direction, bouncing off our performances, you know, how well we played together, what we're trying to do in the moment and scenes. Um, and I think the finished product uh, really speaks to that. That's great. 
And, I, and it's got some recognition as well. Uh, yes. It won the best thriller in the Hollywood at the Tiber. And then it also uh, was a finalist for best film at the Sweden Film Festival. Yes. So how did that feel, you know, getting some people that actually really enjoyed it? That is what feels the best, honestly, because it's my first time doing any of this sort of acting on screen. Um, for it to be getting such recognition is really encouraging and just drives home the fact that I should just try harder and like continue on this route. For both of you, uh, what was your favorite moment as an actor in this film? You go first, I need to think about this. <laughs> I tried to let him get me slide down and like a, a dead body <laughs> shoot in pursuit. Um, but there, there are some really fun things. And, and at one point, uh, I guess like the, T-Rex scene, or the, the raptor scene in, in Jurassic Park, there's a really suspenseful portion where I'm trying to find her and I'm running around and I'm like knocking things over to try and get a reaction of, of, of her and, and listen. And, and it's, it's, it was just really fun trying to play that. But it, it, was, it was neat trying to like mess stuff up and, and play that role. Yeah. So mm, one really great part of the film uh, the chase scene specifically was uh, I was hiding up on this old disgusting boiler and I had to like do some parkour to get up there and it, it was just a really like fun experience just you know laying in probably hundreds of years of dust and soot <laughs> and another amazing part of it was like all of the things that you don't see during the film, you know, like everything that goes into it and like building relationships um, in the in the downtime, like Sean said, we would like scare each other <laughs> and like try and um, convince people that the place was haunted, which I'm very sure it was haunted. You, s <laughs> you say that you did the intercom thing, but it was haunted. I was like, I asked the sound guy, I was like, what did it sound like? He goes, it sounded like this. I was like, that's wind, Lonnie, that's wind. You know, and I'm, I'm wow. back in the intercom making it happen. So how, where can people find the film? Where can they watch it? You gotta wait. It is not available for public viewing right now. Um, once it works its way through all of the festivals that it's entered in, um, it will be available. Gotcha. Well, how can people find more information about the film and then each of your social media? I am underscore Ashley Pryor on Instagram. And um, Kevin is, his production is Always Late TV. Um, what about you, Sean? Uh, Sean Scott, I spell it silly though, S-H-A-U-N-S-C-O-T-T. I'm all over Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. Um, and uh, we, we really love this opportunity. I think we're just gonna continue to build and grow in this um, and kind of take it where it goes. We've already got another project uh, in the works where we get to, to work together and, and we're pretty excited about that and where this is going. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah. Likewise. Thank you so looking much for forward, having us. Yeah, looking forward to more people seeing it and maybe more awards. Yes. <laughs> well, that's it folks. Uh, be sure and check out Schmetterling. It's coming up very soon. For STL TV, be sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. For Real to Real, STL TV, I'm Andy Rizika.